Okay, welcome back to the channel. Obi-Wan Kenobi here. We are well on our way building this Tacom M3 Grant 135th scale. So far, quite an enjoyable kit, and I just wanted to take a look at this part here, D12, which is uh, attached to the turret here. The turret is, uh, this panel is D15. It's kind of unique. We actually have to bend the pieces in order to get them to fit. Normally this is something that we reserve for photo etch, of course, but it's kind of cool, so I thought I'd kind of show you the process here. The tricky part is I didn't want to glue where the bend is. I wanted to position it onto the turret and then move the bends into, into position. As you can see here, I'm going to really take a lot of time because there's a couple of concerns when we create a bend, right? There's this little, at the corner, it's easy for there to be a gap. So I'm going to really take some time here to get to fit just right. I'm going to apply this uh, Tamiya Extra Thin Cement on the inside and the outside. And I'm squeezing ever so slightly here. Well, not slightly. I'm squeezing quite a bit, actually, uh, to get some of the plastic that's melting in between the two pieces to sort of squish out. That helps fill that gap. This is what makes Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, whether it's the, the slow drying or the faster drying stuff, so wonderful. You put the two pieces together, you apply it, it runs through through capillary action and starts to melt the plastic and melt the pieces together. All right, so here I'm taking care of the road wheels. Uh, I decided I wanted to chip these road wheels up a bit. Um, looking at photos, you see vehicles with chipped rubber all the time. If the vehicle's, you know, on a road, most of its life, probably not gonna chip that much. And anytime these little rocks hit against them or they're in, you know, terrain that's any rougher than a, than a road, they're gonna start chipping. And this is how I like to do it. I just take the X-Acto knife, start and flick kind of fast, and that pops off a piece of uh, plastic. It's a very relaxing thing to do. It's a little bit tedious, but it's nice to kind of sit there and kind of mindlessly chip away at something like this. I do try to target specific areas. I don't want to have them even around. I do want to create this sort of sense of random. Sometimes I'll clump chips together. Sometimes I'll spread them out, and I want to make sure that they're on both sides of the wheel. Well, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, please hit subscribe to keep up with the latest videos for this model and more.